Thanks for tuning in today, guys. And I'm going to be showing you how to hook up an aftermarket oil gauge on your small box Chevy or basically anything else. It applies either way. So the first thing you want to uh, locate is where you're going to install your uh, oil pressure gauge line. It could be in several different areas. Us is going back here because it's done had one before. So first thing you want to do is remove the old sending unit or go ahead and remove the old gauge line if you're replacing it like we are. Now uh, they make fittings to adapt this down into if you're replacing your sending unit to a manual gauge. Just keep that in mind. That is the adapters I was talking about. They do come in different sizes, but this is what comes with a kit. My engine done got one of those, so I won't be changing that. But you will need these little fittings here, compression fittings. As they tighten up, they compress out, and they seal the line. So, something you want to uh, not lose. Now, this plastic line does break over time and stuff, but they do make a copper line kit. But, you know, being... The way the kits are these days, you have to buy it separate. The install is, you want to start this guy first. Oh now, I about lost a little bit of it. Did lose the adapter. We don't need that. Oops. And the kit does come with instructions. Look at this, I can't even get these out. Hmm. Having trouble with our James? Fuck yeah. Yeah, I hold this piece. I got that. Got a knife? Knife is on the tool, but on the... I got keys. And that'll be just as good. I got it. And then this guy right here will go right like this. Make sure it goes this way. Right here. And then it will pretty much go like this. And then... Hold it like that. And this piece tightens up into this piece. Just like so. Now you want to make sure your line is as far down as inside as you can get it before you tighten this up. It's that simple. Okay, when installing your line, guys, you can take a heat gun and lay it straight, and it will help that plastic straighten out. It's a lot easier to deal with. I went ahead and we used my old line from my previous gauge. Now, when you snuggin these up, you don't want to over tighten them because it will start twisting the plastic line. Uh, you want you me to check it? Yeah, I'll let you check it. <laughs> okay. But you don't want to over tighten it because you can kink the line and you can tear the line. Now, we are removing my old gauge. If you ain't got an old gauge and you start with a new gauge, this is the mountain black. It comes in the kits. You can mount them wherever you want to. Take some self tappers or drill and tap a hole. It's up to you. But we are removing the old gauge and installing this new Bosch oil pressure gauge. This one ain't got the little notches, so you really can't tell what you got. Kind of guessing in the dark. And this uh, gauge had so much built up sludge and stuff in it. I don't know if you can see it. That uh, it wasn't working like it should. And yeah. I would have had the factory oil gauge working in this truck, but for now, I'm just trying to get a mechanical. That's my gauge installed now. I went ahead and we used all my old wiring from my previous gauge. It's pretty simple to install the same way you did out there. You just snug that up, make sure your fittings is on it the way it should be. Tighten it down, and you should have oil pressure. I done tested this one. This one does work. Works pretty good. Now, in a later video, I will probably be moving my gauges up here and uh, switching all these out for uh, maybe that style gauge in the future. So, definitely be sure to subscribe for that upcoming video. And, uh, hopefully you enjoyed. Drop a like, drop a comment if you found it helpful. And, uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe now. See you next time.